Hi, my name is Lawrence. I'm an automation engineer at Loop, and today I'm going to be talking to you about debugging code in the init. Sometimes when we're commissioning code, we deploy our code and we end up in service mode rather quickly. The logger might not have a useful backtrace. When we launch the debugger, we've already passed the point where we're in, in service mode. How can we get into the debugger so we can uh, step through our code and find the problem before we end up crashing the PLC? To do this, I've written some buggy code that initializes some data in the init routine. We can see that in simulation, this code is putting us into service mode. By the time I launch monitor mode, it's, it's too late now to run a debugger because we've already crashed the PLC. In order to catch this before we've gone into service mode, I'm going to add a handy couple of lines in the init routine. So ahead of the code that I suspect might be a problem, I'm going to write a empty while loop that's waiting on a Boolean. So while not go, do nothing. Um, I'm going to make go a Boolean, and it's going to default to a value of false. And I'm going to transfer this code. So the intention here is to end up endlessly looping in this while loop until we are ready to proceed with our debugger setup. This would normally be a problem if we were to write this code in the cyclic because of cycle times. So you would run into a cycle time violation. But because we are in the init, we actually can't cycle time violate. The init can take however much time it needs. So this is just going to hold up our code execution while we launch monitor mode, start the debugger, and put a you know, debugger line where we need it. Now we see that we are in run mode. We are currently endlessly looping in this while loop that we just created. If I launch the debugger and add a line here at the top of the while loop, we'll see that it picks us up there. And if I add go to our watch window, we can now set go to true because we're ready to go and proceed to step through the code. So now we're in our debugger where we're executing and we have not hit service mode yet. And so we can finally find out what was crashing our PLC. As we continue to step, we see that we're actually looping another time. So this is an off by one error on our for loop. And we're now going to try to populate the third index of the array that does not exist with the string data three. Uh, and that will result in a page fault and uh, the crashing of the PLC. Now we know that we were off by one with our loop bounds and we can fix that and proceed to commission our PLC. If you want to learn more, go to shippin6.team.